Today we're going to be looking at the 2015 October release of the Hot Wheels Heritage line Case D. But first, a quick peek at a couple collector convention cars from the October Los Angeles convention. Just got these. One of each. Beautiful card work on them. Quite detailed tampo work on them. Real rider wheels and metal bases, of course. These are pretty low production vehicles as well. So, number 2200 out of 2400, roughly. And uh, just a ton of nice tampos on this car. Really high gloss paint job. Super detailed front tampo work. So I thought I'd share those with you guys. Not something you see every day. Had to order these online, of course, specially because they're not found in stores. And uh, I guess if you went to the convention, you had a chance of getting these. Not sure how exactly that works. I've yet to go to a convention, although it is high on my list of things I'd like to do. But anyways, let's crack into brand new Heritage Case D of the two Heritage release lines, Real Riders and Red Lines. This is a Red Line case, number 956D, as you can see. Fresh case, cracking it right before your eyes. I think all the cars in this case are going to be desirable as far as collectors go and uh, because of that I opted to buy a full case on eBay and I just like to have uh, duplicates especially of the really nice castings so here we go cracking it open it's funny every time I see one of these case unboxings, there's some comment about how they're packed. Well, this is the fourth case, so we're not going to comment on that. I just did. Oh, boy. Straight out of the box, we've got two 1969 Mercury Cyclones, number 12 of 18. Now, we're going to be opening up all of these cars, of course, and putting them on my turntable for a quick close-up look outside of the packaging. But here's the packaging, the red line stuff. The cars in this series, Bone Shaker, well you can see them here, there's six cars in the series, 16 cars to a case, I really like this one, I'm very happy to get two of these, so we'll look at that one, like I said, close up, and the Bone Shaker, we got what, one, two, three Bone Shakers. Now these, uh, these are pretty popular castings as well, especially when they feature a metal base as they do and red line wheels. I have a feeling these are not going to be hanging around on the pegs too much either. So even though there are three of them, pretty cool little cars. Quite heavy for the bone shaker too. Usually it's got a plastic base. And another heavy casting, the Custom 56 Ford truck. This one's all metal as well. Red line wheels. Well, they're all going to have red line wheels, so I think I can probably stop saying that already. Three of those. It's a nice truck. I really like this truck from Hot Wheels. It's well proportioned. And a uh, nice dragster look to it. Right, what do we got here? Oh wow, that's nice. 1970 Camaro. Let's get all of them out. Got one, two, got three of those. And what a nice job on those racing tampos. Almost reminds me of the uh, of the racing series. What was it called? Hot Wheels Racing from a couple of years ago. Those are really nice. Metal base, of course got here oh yes I like this casting got a bit of a bungled card here that's probably gonna be my opener 84 Mustang SVO not a car you would typically see with red line tires but it looks good anyways metal base three of those and lastly of course they only gave us two of these cars which is ridiculous this should have been the three at least one of the three car pieces. Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. I don't imagine you're going to find this one hanging around on the pegs for very long, so 
grab it while it's hot, as uh, Frank's Kids does say, right? Anyways, we're going to crack all these open now and look at them on the turntable we have right here. Now what I really like about this release is that there are six cars, six different cars, and they're all really realistic vehicles, even with the bone shaker. Nice rat rod look. Uh, I just wish the top two cars, which are my favorites probably, are pretty close near the top favorites, were more than just a two release car, but hey, we can not have everything and uh, it does add some rarity and collectability to these lines and that's probably somewhat intentional. So let's open them up in order of favorites. Number one, that beautiful Nissan Skyline. Get that out on the turntable. This car has proven to be incredibly popular amongst Hot Wheel collectors lately and for good reason beautiful 70s J Japanese muscle car of sorts Japanese racing anyways uh, the body style is just amazing I think I think the car does its own talking here I don't really need to say much it's a great paint job by Mattel on this one the bright red with the red line tires and black wall type wheels just it really works well for this car number two on my favorite list here the 69 Mercury Cyclone to the turntable another car that's going to be hard to find not only because of the quantity released in the case but just because it looks fantastic in that striking Hot Wheels orange with the blue and silver tampos on the side well it's more of a dark blue and a light blue tampo I'd say more than silver but just an awesome casting as well really nice American muscle car here and uh, I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this car my third favorite has to be the 70 Camaro now here is one of the most iconic American racing cars of all time this Copo Camaro probably from the early 70s did we say I'm sure it said on the packaging but anyways this is a beast. You can see it's got the one driver's seat in it and uh, it's got the racing gear inside of it. Everything minus a roll bar. And the tampos on this thing. They're awesome. Awesome. Little highly detailed sponsorship type tampos all over it. And uh, truly a wonderful casting. For me the last three cars are pretty much a tie as far as how much I like them which is substantially but I am particular to this 80s early 90s body style of the Mustang well this Mustang's ready for racing it's got the button down hood latches painted on it it's even got those neat little signal lights pointed at the uh, painted at the back of it although they didn't go all the way around the back strangely might have been kinda nice if they had uh, an easy custom to do though for yourself if you'd like to but this car is just probably one of my favorite castings. Uh, it's a newer newer release. Hasn't been around for that long and it's a nice big heavy car. Works well on the track and just looks really nice in a lot of different paint jobs that's been released so far. Next out of the package, that sweet candy purple pickup truck. Now this truck I believe used to have an opening hood, but it doesn't anymore. That may have been a few releases ago though. Now here's a classic Hot Wheel if I ever see one. Big old Ford pickup truck. It's got the tubbed out rear wheels, drag racing style. Engine sticking through the hood. Just really, really nice. I love the body lines on these old pickup trucks. Shaved rear bumper, dual exhaust. And last but not least, the Bone Shaker. Nice. Hey, that's not the bone shaker. What are you doing there? There's the bone shaker. Always a cool casting. Look at the rake on it. Those big, tall, thin tires on the back look really authentic. The 
angry gleaming skulls on the front sparkling away those huge side pipes and a cool cool tampo on the side door just wait for that to come around once more check that out bone shaker customs let's go take a look at these things on the hot wheels track now and see how do they fare the track is all set to go I'm just guessing, but I think that the Bone Shaker might take the place of first on this one. But it's anyone's game, so let's find out right now. Winner! Lane 3! Lane 3, there you have it. That was the Blue Mustang. Amazing. Big heavy casting, I said before, it's good on the track. Now for the rematch, just to ensure that everything is fair, I've switched the cars on the lanes. Let's see if the Mustang takes it two for two. Winner! Lane four. And there you have it, boys and girls, it does. The Mustang takes the place of first again in lane four this time. Well, collectors, thanks for tuning in for another Hot Wheel video. As you can see, I'm under a little bit of a renovation here. Got some drywall out on the floor, so that's why we're out here and things aren't quite professional and polished looking just yet. But soon I'll have this room converted for Hot Wheel use only. Well, and my entertainment, TV wise. And uh, so then I'll start looking like something, as you can see. Uh, I've got the cars kind of creep around the corner there, the green lights. That was kind of continuing across the wall. But uh, looking at getting a whole bunch of cases for the walls and setting up all my tracks on this rather large 12 foot by 14 foot floor space area here. And as you can see here, all my tracks. So this is just a little update for those of you that stuck around to the end of the video. Uh, things to come in the WTF FOR Hot Wheel basement, not just the Hot Wheel room, it's going to be the Hot Wheel basement.